remain on the shot clock as Nando de Colo, looking for a receiver, gets it to Vesely. Nando de Colo relieves him, the relieves him of the ball, goes behind the back between the gaps, offloads to the corner. Seamus Hazel with the catch, pulls the trigger and connects. And Taylor accordingly doesn't agree with. Watch this from Nando de Colo. How on earth did he get through that gap? Behind the back, between the legs, the vision to offload, and then Seamus Hazer under pressure from our. I would like to say about Nando De Colo that I'm really glad to see him playing like he does right now. He is one of my favorite European players, and he's 34 years old. You don't see any signs of him getting any older mm -hmm. in terms of basketball. He's still dominating games. Still, when the opponent opposing team is in the bonus situation, Nando De Colo will kill you. He will get those cheap points from the free throw line consistently, and he's just so smart. Just he, he's like he always sees like two plays ahead. Uh -huh. He's always two plays ahead yeah. of you. So uh, I, I think for Sasha Georgievich to have Nando De Colo in the team is a treasure. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, there are two things I want to talk about. The first one, one of the reasons why Nando De Colo is not having any, let's say, age uh, problems, uh, he's not getting old on the court because he was always a true professional. I remember I had a conversation with Andrei Vatutin and he told that we were talking about Ramona Shishkauskas, how professional he was, that he took every game uh, 100%, no matter if it was your league or VTB uh, league. Uh, his mentality was the same and the only player he could compare Shishkauskas to was exactly Nando De Colo and Milos Teodosic, the same he told uh, for, to Alexander Djordjevic that he was the true professional, true example, who can lead you uh, by the example. So there's no surprise that Nando, uh, it was logical why he was struggling in the beginning of the season. He had a long summer. Last year he was also playing on a high level. So it's normal um, that you will have some slumps during the season and especially in the beginning of the season. But now he's getting uh, back uh, in his shape. And the second uh, thing is that I don't remember who tweeted it. Maybe it was Malcolm Delaney again. Maybe it was Casey Rivers. But somebody told that we should stop emphasize, uh, emphasizing age because nowadays uh, players are mm, kind of keeping the level of efficiency way longer than it was before because how bodies and physicality and you know all these technolo technologies who can help you to, to extend your career are involved and it's way different than it was before. So we shouldn't rule out all these players uh, yeah, over 30 years. I, or I agree that it's kind of like three or four year advantage in mm -hmm. comparison to, let's say, last decade or, or even the 90s. When in the 90s you would see a guy who's 32 or 33 and you would be, you would be thinking that he's playing his last seasons in this level. Now, 34, 35 is not a problem. Uh, but still, Fernando De Colo, it's not a problem, not only because of this, that he's a super professional, he's taking care of himself, and he's taking his job very huh, seriously. It's the way he's playing. It's the, the way he's playing. He's not dependent on his speed. Mm -hmm. He's not dependent on his athletic abilities. He's dependent on his skills and, and his IQ. So those things only get better with it's experience. Like Krumo Simon, the best example. Yeah, one of those. But Nando De Colo is on a higher level, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. than Krumo I'm, Simon. I'm but talking Kr Kr comparison Simon with their IQ and skill. Still being efficient, even though you don't seem very athletic or fast yeah. or strong. So I, ag I agree with that, yeah.